He normally makes it look easy. Tonight he made it look pretty hard, actually. Uh, Stand-up comedy is no joke. And now I reach into a bucket. This is where shit usually goes straight off the rails because any normal human could sign up for this show. Maybe you signed up for this show. Yeah. Your first comedian out of the bucket getting an uninterrupted 60 seconds tonight goes by the name of Eric Edlund, everybody. Eric right. Edlund. Eric. Here we go. Eric Edlund. Here he comes. Oh, shit. Make some noise for Eric, everybody. Oh. Oh, yes. My name is Eric. I'm a drummer from Sweden who uh, obviously let himself go during the pandemic. And when I didn't think my life could get any worse, my brother gave me a course in stand-up comedy. So I didn't know where to start, so I watched some documentaries and uh, one stuck with me. The one uh, about John Belushi. I thought maybe physical comedy could be my thing. And this is the first time I tried it out, but back then, my, at least my girlfriend laughed at me. <laughs> no, I, I just kid it. Uh, 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 sorry, sorry, my next joke was uh, when, I, when, when we have sex was, was supposed to be the joke. <laughs> But I, I was actually kidding there. I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> but I take it as a compliment that you believe me, maybe. <laughs> I'm actually so single, my band's name should be Blue Ball Group. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my st sorry. Uh, oh, the hackiest set ever on Kill Tony. <laughs> Eric oh, Edlin, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna fucking oh. end it there for you. Oh, Holy thank you shit. so much. You're way too kind. How much do I owe you? Jesus, shut up, Eric. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. I came down from mountain for this. <laughs> shut the fuck up, Eric. Oh my God. I got questions for you, sir. Are you ready for this? First of all, how did you get dislodged from that chocolate tube in the Wonka factory <laughs> 35 years ago? Oh my God. Yeah. I love chocolate, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm not used to the heat here. So. Uh, uh oh, here comes a big one. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Whoa, what, what does the heat make you feel like, Eric? <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. Oh, I, oh, I forgot to do joke again. Yeah, so, oh, actually. Uh. <laughs> That's a common misconception with comedy. You can't just be fat. <laughs> You gotta have a punch. <laughs> you gotta have a. Line Actually, to do. he was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he, I quit. And he did suck. <laughs> Eric, so let's talk what? about it. Is this your first time ever coming down from the mountaintop or whatever, <laughs> whatever weird cabin life you have? What are we talking about? Sweden? Yeah, it's pretty close to the truth, actually. Stockholm? No, I come from the kind of north. And Stockholm north. or Downs? I can't figure out which syndrome you have. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, answer. is that your real laugh? <laughs> I'm afraid it is. Uh, uh. <laughs> I love the act. You sound like Lord of the Onion Rings. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there's, no, there's no wolves in the Swedish mountains, right there. There might be. Are there wolves in the Swedish mountains? Uh, yes, I think. Oh, okay, very good. Red Band knows Swedish? his Swedish mountain Swedish. sound effects. All right, so let's talk about it, Eric. Uh, have you ever done stand up before? Uh, only once. Uh oh, what happened then? Uh, I guess I bombed, but not this hard. Okay. Uh, I, deservedly seriously. so, I should say, too. I want to do it more, but actually I... No, 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 no. It's okay. We don't need to do more, Eric. <laughs> what do you do for a living in Sweden? Uh, I'm a musician. You really are a professional musician? Yes, I am. Holy shit. I, I, it's hard to believe. <laughs> I, I, I you, guess, you, you play the drums for real? Yeah, yeah. You could, you could guess it, of course. You also said during your 60 did, seconds... Did I do? Yeah, you said, I'm a drummer from Sweden. Oh, I did? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm like, okay. did he say drummer? Because your, your, your accent is so white that even I yeah. can't understand it. <laughs> oh, I'm impressed. It is. Stick to drums and go back to Sweden. Yeah, I will, man. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, 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 no
I want to hear you. Uh, I want to hear you play drums. It's been a really oh long God. time. You guys think? Hold on a second. How many of you have been longtime fans of the show? That's a lot of people. It's been like I don't know a long ass time, almost a year. Do you guys think it's okay if we do a Mexican drum off here tonight? All right. So some of you might be new here. You might not know exactly how this works. But on this show, any drummer has a chance to become the new full-time drummer here on Kill Tony. Now, I have to let you know that the resident drummer historically has won 100% of all these drum solo competitions. Uh, the great Joel Jimenez before and the current uh, reigning uh, uh, defending champion of the show, Michael Gonzalez. They've never lost. However, the show rules Mexican drum off goes like this. It is, uh, they get a, each a drum solo. If Eric Edlund wins, he has to be here every Monday forever <laughs> doing sold out shows on an American comedy show for the rest of his life. And also if he wins, that means we have to ship Michael Gonzalez to Sweden to uh, PewDiePie. If he's here, where's Artie Lang? That's all I want to know. <laughs> uh, all right, so they each get a drum solo. Eric could win a full-time job, but Michael's probably going to beat him. Uh, the audience decides at the end. Are you guys ready to start your first ever Mexican drama? Here it is, a drum solo from Sweden's own Eric Edlund, everybody. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, the crowd is going wild. These things never really translate to the internet quite like uh, you would imagine they would. Highly recommend coming to a live show. Oh, uh, D Madness throwing his own boy under the bus that's uh, two weeks in a row. Literally has never even met Eric Edlund and is already defending Eric. Uh, I'm Come on now. I love I'm you too. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment that you do believe is about to happen. You're about to witness a man defend his legacy, the throne of being the official Kill Tony drummer. We've been doing this for years. The resident drummer has never lost. This is Michael Gonzalez. Eric, come up here real quick. In your face, you fucking European idiot. <laughs> European? <laughs> That's where Sweden is, dumbass. Oh, shit. I thought it was Scandinavia. That's Europe. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> How many of you think Eric Udland uh, just won the Mexican drum off? Make some noise if you think Eric won. How many of you in the audience have Michael Gonzalez winning the Mexican drama? There you go. So the record stays the same. Meanwhile, they're out there. Perhaps one day there might be somebody. How did you feel that that went for you, uh, Eric? Was that a good performance for you? You are the best drummer that's also a Cabbage Patch Kid I've ever... Uh, <laughs> 
you are. I mean, look at your just jolly head. I've never yeah. even seen a head that is quite that wide. And uh, it's almost like, uh, was that Ernie or Bert? Which one has that? It does look like his hair comes off with his hat. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah, it's that's the hats, unfortunately the way too true. The hat's nice, dude. Who designed your outfit? Limp too many biscuits? <laughs> Come on, dude. That's why I'm. Come on, I'm still going. Yeah. <laughs> Fred Worst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was way better. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, before I let you go, tell me one more interesting fun fact about your life or thing that you think would be interesting to tell uh, an audience on a live podcast about your entire life. Uh, you ever do anything wacky? You ever have sex with one of those mountain animals? <laughs> <laughs> no, unfortunately not. <laughs> uh, I, I I would have sex with uh, anything right now. So Jesus Christ! <laughs> no, sorry, but Hans, get up here. <laughs> <laughs> How long are you visiting Texas for, Eric? Uh, until uh, Friday, and then I um, come back and watch the show again next week. <laughs> oh wow! What do you mean? You watch the show again next week? Uh, I will come back and. But I can promise you not to sign up. <laughs> Wait, you're coming back here next Monday? Yeah, I do. But why? Well, I mean, what? Uh, like, you're you're a fan of the yeah, show. Yeah, I'm a fan of okay. the show. Yeah. <laughs> and so this is all right. When was the last time you did stand up? It was uh, a year ago. <laughs> right. <laughs> that weird <laughs> laugh he does. It's so weird. I have had so many gigs. I haven't. Uh, so had time to focus. many gigs. I know, Eric. So many gigs. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Interesting, interesting <laughs> stuff. I feel like there's more that you're not telling us, Eric. Uh, what's the age of consent over in Sweden? <laughs> it's way too high. No, no, just kidding. No. <laughs> there you go. Making his Kill Tony debut, everybody. Getting a little joke book. All the way from Sweden. That is the Kill Tony debut of Eric Edland, everyone. Thank you, Eric. Eric the Viking. All right. Back to the bucket we go.